Hey everybody, this is your girl Polka. So, yeah. Today I am going to be working on the peach body. And I'm going to sew some mesh upon this peach body. I am using Blender 3.0. So I'm going to need you to open up your peach bodies. If you do not have a peach body, then use whatever body you have. This is part two because I did a previous video um, working on an Avastar body. Okay. The SL Basic Avatar. Alright, so this, that was one. This is two. Working on Peach. We're going to make something. I don't know. Let's see where the wind blows me. Okay. And if you guys please, 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 please like, share, subscribe, and comment. That will help me out, okay? I am a struggling artist. Thank you. Now, let's begin. Okay, so I am here in Blender. And I have my Peach Dev Kit opened. And I want to get rid of some things, okay? Like this, this right here. So you see where the, <coughs> excuse me. So I'm going to come over here with my mouse and until I get these double arrows. And I'm going to right click. And I'm going to go join areas. And I'm going to have the arrow go to the right and I'm left click okay I had to get rid of that I'm gonna come over here and I get the double arrows and I'm just gonna pull this up some I want to make room for my mesh that we're gonna be creating okay I am in the default tab. Okay. Um, you may be in layout. I don't know. And uh, this is layout right here. So, um, if you're in the layout workspace, then um, I need you to push this tab out or you can press N on your numpad and again to let it out okay and I'm going to be assuming you have either Bento Buddy or Avastar um, I'm not sure if I'm going to let the video last that long maybe it would be in part 3 I don't know or part 2A. I mean part 2 yeah, A. I don't know. We'll see. I told you I'm letting the wind blow. Blow me where you blow me. Okay. One. If you press one on your numpad. That is the front. Three is for the side. Seven is for the top. One for the front. You could play around with that stuff. Five is for your views. In the 3D window. So right now I'm in orthographic. If I press 5. I'm in perspective. I like to personally work in orthographic. So I will press 5 again. So I can be. Back in orthographic. Okay. I'm going to hold down shift. And my middle mouse button. And just drag this down. I'm going to use my middle mouse button to scroll some. I'm going to hold shift down again and middle mouse button 
to the center of the sun. Okay. So I'm going to prepare my body because we're going to be doing cloth simulation. Okay. And our body needs to have some collision. So I'm going to right click my body. It is highlighted in orange. That means it is selected. I'm going to come over here into physics properties click on physics properties and we're going to click on collision because the body needs collision now I'm going to pull this up some okay so now we have collision right here the whole menu popped up we're going to go down to soft body and cloth in our thickness, we are going to change that. You can double click in there or click once. If it's highlighted, if it's not highlighted, then, you know, use your mouse to highlight it. And then we're going to type in, um, yeah, thickness. We're going to type in 0 0.001. Okay. And for friction, we're going to change friction to 10. Okay, so our body is now prepared. If you want to save, um, I would wait. But if you do save, change your name so you don't mess up your original dev kit. Okay, so now I'm going to go to add mesh plane. And I have a plane. It is already selected because it's highlighted in orange. And I'm going to hit R for rotate. And X for the X axis. And I'm going to type 90. And then enter. I'm going to press G for grab. And Z for the Z axis. And I'm just going to bring it up. I'm going to press S on my keyboard for scale. And I'm just going to move my mouse to scale it down. G for grab, Z axis to bring it up some. I'm going to press 3 on my numpad to turn to the side. G for grab. Y is for that, see that green line down there? And that's the Y axis and that's the direction it's going. The blue is Z and it goes up and down. So I'm going to press G for grab, um, Y axis, and I'm just going to bring this up in front of her breasts. And then left click. I'm going to press 1 for front view. Now see up here this thing right here? You can see these are your axes. Z is up and down. X is side to side. And Y is front to back. But when we're on the side, you will see it looks like it's side to side, but it's really front to back, okay? So, that part. All right, so now we have this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press the tab button to get into edit mode. Or you can come up here. Click the arrow down and click on edit mode. And I left click. If you're not down here, I have my mouse clicks. Okay, so if you have to rewind, come back, you'll see what I press. Up here, you have vertice mode, vertex mode, edge mode, and face mode. We were on face mode. Well, I was on face mode. That's where I want it to be. I'm going to just scroll up some. So, this is just one face. And really, we can't make anything with just one face. You can make a rug. There you go. <laughs> or <laughs> a long street. But that's about it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into up here to Edge. Shortcut is Control E, 
but I'm just going to click on edge and I'm going to go I'm going to click on subdivide because I want to break this up I want to divide it now it's in four pieces I don't know if you can see that good but it's four pieces one two three four I'm going to go down on the bottom left side click open the subdivide menu I'm going to increase the number of cuts it only lets me go to 10 so that's where we're going you can do it again and it will get more um, intricate okay so now at this point I know there's going to be an issue with the body because of the pose and I want for this to put this body in a T pose so I'm just going to hold my middle mouse key down and turn this around okay and I'm going to press the tab button to go back into object mode or like I said you can use up here you have your different modes right now we're going to be working with edit and object mode okay so I'm going to right click on the armature which is these bones or armature and I'm going to go up here and click on pose mode and I'm going to right click on this bone I'm going to hit R for rotate um, I think it's a Y. Y for Y axis. And I'm going to press 45. And yes. Then right here, I'm going to press this copy pose. And I'm going to click this paste pose. No, not that one. This one. Paste mirror pose. Okay. So now we are in a T pose. So I'm going to press 1 to get front view I am going to right click on our plane this square box it's called the plane it's right here select it I'm going to change the name to outfit you can put it any name you want and you just double click on it and then put your name you might have to highlight it I don't know just mess around okay so now I'm going to tab press my tab button to go back in edit mode and now what I'm gonna do is start cutting out some of these boxes because I don't need them because I'm making something I'm making a pattern okay that's what we're doing I'm gonna press a on my keyboard twice to deselect everything and then I'm going to press um, B for box select and I'm just going to select um, these boxes and these boxes that is going to be a problem because she has big hips so I'm going to take some of these boxes off I'm going to press C for circle select so it, we use this circle you can um, scroll your middle mouse button towards you to make your selection circle bigger or away from you to make it smaller alright and I'm going to uh, hold my click on my middle mouse button that deselects the left mouse button selects so look if I press that it just selected these three the middle mouse button deselects and you press it so I'm going to deselect this stuff for right now ladies I'm not gonna lie I do not like these big bodies because now I'm pressing the C 
um, for circle select and I'm just going to select these vertices I mean faces um, I'm going to deselect some of these I'm going to deselect these these two so what is whatever's in orange we're deleting see she got this big breast big butt you know it's ridiculous and then when we try to sew it it's not gonna really be fitting but anyway so this is why I'm doing this one this way all right so I'm gonna the orange ones are what we're deleting. So I'm going to press X on my keyboard. That's for delete. And I'm going to delete faces. And now we have this boxy looking thing here. Which is okay. We're going to work it out. Okay, so now I'm going to press A to select everything. And I'm going to press 3. For her to be on the side view I'm going to press E for extrude and then I'm going to press Y for the Y axis and I'm going to take my mouse and just drag this back I let a little bit of her butt stick out because it's so big that. <laughs> I don't want the back too far from the front and I'm not trying to be doing a bunch of crap okay so here we have a box around our avatar we're gonna press A twice to deselect everything and we're gonna delete we're gonna press C circle select left click on these bottom ones right click to get out of the circle select make sure nothing else is selected and then press X for delete faces okay so we have an opening and then we're gonna press C select again and I'm gonna get rid of those guys And I'm going to turn and C select and get rid of those. And I'm going to make a hole for the neck. So I'll select that. I'll select these two. Okay. And then we're going to press X for delete. Faces. Okay. Now, to make our thread. For this to be sewn together, we're going to press C for circle select, and we're going to click the sides, only the sides, and make sure everything is selected that you need for the sides. And come here, and this guy. Okay, now we are going to press X for delete and we're going to do only faces. So now you see we have these are edges and they're going to be our thread. Now I'm going to go into edge select mode and I'm just going to select this edge I'm going to hold down shift and also right click to select I mean left click yeah right click to select that edge so I got both edges and I'm going to hit G to grab and that no that's not going to work I'm going to hit S to scale 
No. We have to do them separate. I just don't want them with this. With that look. Alright, so I grab this one. I'm going to hit grab. And I'm just going to bring it out some. And then this one. <clears throat> I'm going to bring in some. Grab. I'm just bringing it in some. To give it a little round shape. So grab. I'm bringing it out. And kind of up. And that one like in some. Okay. So now we're going to prepare the dress. So let's go into object mode and we're gonna give this make this dress cloth and don't worry about how that looks like the back <laughs> don't worry about that we're gonna fix it you can always fix stuff okay remember that so I'm going to hit cloth now you can all right, so we have the cloth. You can, you can give the, you know, scroll down some cloth. You can give this a preset fabric. Okay, but um, I'm not gonna do that right now. So we gotta make some changes. So the first thing we're gonna change our quality steps to twenty. And then, I'm just going to go down, I'm going to, oops, yeah, I closed physical properties, we don't need that. I'm going to open up cash. This was a problem for me before, because for some reason, this dev kit has a, let me see. Let me scroll this up at the bottom. It is. See, it's locked. But we need this to play. So, I don't know why it's locked like that. But it is. So, we're going to change that. So, let me stop this by hitting pause. So, this is our animation um, timeline. Yeah, timeline. I'm just going to bring it down. So, to fix this, I want to come... I'm going to change render in engine yep. to cycles. And then I'm going to come into output properties. And where you see frame range... Right now, it's on start zero and one. We don't want that. Let's put this up. I'm going to put it up to 150. Okay. So, then we're going to go back into physics property right here. And in cash, I'm going to change this to 150. And I'm going to close cash up. Now we're going to go into shape. I'm going to scroll down some. We're going to click on sewing. And then on max sewing, we're going to change it to 10. And our shrinkage factor, shrinking factor, we're going to put 0 0.01 and enter. And then I'm going to close up shape. Now we're going to open up collisions. Collision quality, we're going to change to 10. 
and <clears throat> excuse me distance we are going to change to 0 0.01 okay so we're going to enable self collisions and we are going to change distance to 0 0.01 okay so we are done here I'm going to close up collisions and now we are going to play the simulation by hitting coming down here and play animation I'm gonna pause it right there now you can always use your mouse for some reason these right here I, you know what, I cannot get rid of them. Let me get rid of these. I'm just right clicking on them and deleting them. They're, um, not helping me. So this right here will bring you back, this button, to where we started. Okay. Now I'm going to play I'm going to pause it So you can dr I don't know why it's doing that guys But it is what it is But you can drag this to different instances So I can press this It'll be Hey Go back when you see where you like it, then just press pause. No. I had a better way. Why is it doing that? There's always something. Now it wants to act crazy. So about 20, I think, is pretty good. So I know it's boxy. So what we're going to do is add a modifier. I'm going to bring this down. And I'm going to add a modifier. And that's this wrench. And I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier. And that gives it a little more better. You can bring it up to two. And that's even better. And then to get rid of the squares, you go up here to object. change it to shade smooth and here we have a dress I don't know if my edges are not closing up but that's fine um, we can do that manually and then we can also you know fix this manually um, the little holes and stuff but I'm gonna change let's go back in physics um go to shape I'm gonna change the sewing to 15 and let's see what happens Ooh, it just blew up on us. Ooh, stop. Okay, so we have a basic shape right now that we can work with. And we can change all of this stuff.
Well, this one, 127. How's 20 go? Ugh. 120. All right, so once you <coughs> once you apply this, that is it. This is our dress. So you can play around, do make different shapes and stuff like that. You don't have to do this ugly dress or, or my previous ugly t-shirt. <laughs> And you can, you know what? Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Let's see what, how much time I got. Okay, you know what? My next video, what we will do is close up the sides, and we will shape this dress. And add some add some things to this dress. Okay. Alright, so I'll see you guys later. Thank you for hanging out with your girl. Because I'm trying not to make long videos. Okay. <laughs> so, thank you. And to the next time. Mwah.